Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia Arndt, and I'm a stress and mindfulness trainer, personal development coach, and keynote speaker. And today we're going to speak about relationships and stress. And before I jump into this topic, I just want to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet, because I am posting regular content to help you manage your stress levels. I give you tips on stress management. I talk with you about a lot of really fascinating topics. And yeah, and I hope that you really enjoy it. So make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and that you also hit the little bell to receive regular notifications when new content is online. And I'm posting new videos every Monday and every Friday. So let's jump into the question, how relationships and stress, what do they have in common? And it is really important when we are talking about stress to understand that there's different um, hormones that are released depending on if we are in a high stress state or in a low stress state or if we are basically de-stressing and decreasing our stress levels. And one of the hormones that is actually responsible for decreasing our stress levels is oxytocin. And oxytocin, also called and also known widely as the cuddle hormone, is actually responsible for decreasing our stress levels. So if you have relationships in your life, if you're having people in your life that you give a hug or you have a partner and um, you're kissing and all the things and um, that actually um, releases a hormone that is called oxytocin which helps you decrease your stress levels. So it is actually really important to have meaningful relationships in your life um, in order to uh, to have a, a healthy balance and to have not in super increased stress levels. Because what honestly always happens when you are isolated and you might not have a lot of relationships is that you're feeling alone and isolated and lonely, of course. But then at the same time, you're starting to have a lot of thoughts in your mind and you're not getting them out because they're just in your head. So we are creating our own reality and that can sometimes be not so super healthy. So it is really important to have important relationships in your life, to talk to your family on a regular basis, to talk to friends um, on a regular basis, to have people that you trust and that actually help you, almost, that almost help you release this hormone called oxytocin that is responsible for decreasing your stress levels. And at the same time, if you're having difficult relationships Obviously, that can also increase your stress levels. Um, I'm sure that all of you had this experience when you're having a conflict with another person that your stress levels can go through the roof because you're frustrated, you're angry, you're sad, um, all of the different feelings. And in this instance, another hormone is coming into play called cortisol and also adrenaline. So two different hormones actually, that will actually spike your stress levels. And in order to manage that, there's obviously a lot of different information on that. I and mean, it's a little bit of a different topic, but generally it is really important that you are on a regular basis have social contacts um, in order to release positive, happy hormones in your body and manage your stress levels. So I hope this information was helpful for you. I have hope. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you have any further questions for me or any comments, you can always leave them here right underneath the video and I will get back to you for sure. So I wish you a wonderful week. I am so grateful that you're here. Please always remember, stress management is a skill that everyone can learn and so can you. So thank you so much again and I talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.